We're here today with David at the House of Lights in Scarborough. And again, we're going to be talking about all the things that homeowners need to know about lighting. Welcome, David. Thank you. Good, Good to see you to again. See you. Good. So, David, so yes. I'm building a house mm -hmm. and I've got this whole yep. project going on. Mm -hmm. When do I call you? What do I do? I think the biggest misnomer is don't wait until the rough end stage of the wiring because your choices at that point can be very limited. I say the sooner you start, the better. It's the more opportunities to find along the way so that when it does get to that point, you have to make that decision or tell the electrician where the wires go. It's very well thought out. You know exactly where everything's going, so it's one less thing to have to worry about during the whole building process, which can be overwhelming and a little intimidating. Mm -hmm. And if I'm just doing a room, I'm adding on a family room, I'm redoing a master suite. Mm -hmm. Same concept. Start early. Um, come in and talk to us. Um, there's so many things that can be done, and we can get to know what the space is going to be like, how you envision that space. Um, to really give you different ways to think about lighting that space so you have time to develop a lighting plan because lighting you have to remember is the only element that renders everything in that room visible mm. so it, it requires some thought beforehand before you even start the process to realize what the potential is and that can lead to a better room developed in the end. Mm -hmm. And let's mm -hmm. say I'm a collector yeah, and I just yeah. have some mm -hmm. things that have mean an awful lot to me, not mm -hmm. expensive yep. art but just mm -hmm. some things that have been in my family, yep. uh, a parent's belongings. Mm -hmm. How can you help me with that? Well, I, I think that's a very good in point. It doesn't need to be an entire room. It doesn't need to be an entire art collection. Maybe it's one or two pieces or just a little collection. But there are different ways to light that, either from scratch when you're building or if your house and room is already in place. There's different ways to light those, to bring a little bit of attention to them. You don't have to be obvious. You don't have to be blatant. I'm very big about the lighting being subtle. But there are ways to throw light onto those things and different types of art, sculpture, photo, family photographs have different ways that they should be lit or just different options. So even something down to a single piece, there's a lot of options and you can have a lot of fun and to bring attention and bring life to that. Oh, that sounds really, really interesting and really things that most of us don't know much about. Well, lighting, it, it's this kind of little known entity. Lighting design, it's a little frustrating at times, but it's also fun because there's so much potential with it and it's an unknown kind of concept or feel. Um, so you really get to, no pun intended, but brighten up people's ideas and get them motivated and to really make them understand the potential out there for lighting. It's mm -hmm. pretty amazing what you can do. You can take um, a $50,000 kitchen, make it look like a $20,000 kitchen with inappropriate lighting, or you can make that $50,000 kitchen and make it look like a $75,000 kitchen if you light it right. Lots of good information for homeowners here today. Another good piece of information that we just learned is that they're having a store-wide sale here for the month of September. Simon says, the House of Lights in Scarborough, it's the place to come.